Well, since I started taking my writing lessons at a barn, not at my house, one of the problems that I've run into is getting my saddle to my writing lesson when I have to go directly from work. And I've tried different things like buckets or kitty litter pails, or even just having my saddle sitting on its pommel. But I don't really like that and I've been wanting to come up with something that I can have my saddle sit like in a saddle stand in my car when I'm going to my riding lessons and I wanted to find an affordable way to do it. So today I'm going to show you how I made a PVC portable saddle stand for my car for $10. Yeah, $10. Hi again, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, happy DIY welcome. <laughs> so like I said in the beginning, getting my saddle to my riding lesson has been kind of a pain in the butt. Yes, I can take my saddle, rest it on its pommel, and it'll be fine. But I don't really like carrying my saddle around like that. I wanted to create something that I could put my saddle on. And you can buy portable saddle carriers for your car but you're looking at spending anywhere from 75 to 180 dollars they have the really cool pegasus saddle racks that attach to the back of your headrest those are really neat but they're 180 dollars and that's a lot of money for a saddle stand <clears throat> for a saddle rack in your car and i'm sure you've seen on pinterest everybody's got this picture of a pvc saddle stand in the back of a car. Well, I made one. And mine is a little bit different because I'm using half inch PVC, but it cost me around $10 to make this saddle stand. And I can take my saddle with me to my lesson on a saddle stand. Have it sit long, or I can have it sit right in the middle. It doesn't matter. And it has a really wide base of support. So when I go around corners, I'm not gonna have my saddle go off to the side. That was one of the problems with the kitty litter pail. As soon as I went around a corner, my saddle went boom to the side. So now let's set it on the saddle stand and see what it's like. And it's pretty sturdy for $10. You could cement the pieces together and make it stay permanently like this. Or you can just tap the pieces in securely. That way, if you wanted to dismantle it, you could do that too. But now that you've seen how awesome this little saddle stand is. How about I show you how I made it? So first you're going to need to get the supplies and I use three quarter inch PVC pipe and then also three quarter inch PVC fittings. So these are three way elbows and none of them have like the little screw threads on the inside. They're just plain. These are the end caps for the feet and then there's just random size pieces. I have the complete instructions on how you can make this PVC saddle rack over on my blog, The Budget Equestrian, and there is a link in the description box below. So if you wanna see how you can make this yourself, you can go on over to my blog and you can make this super easy. I promise you can do it in an afternoon. And one thing that will make cutting the PVC easier is a tube cutter. So I just kind of wanted to show you how I did this. I did not use a vice grip when I was doing most of the cutting, but if you have a vice grip, that will make it that much easier and you won't get blisters on your hands. By the time I was done cutting out the PVC, my hands, I had blisters. So don't do it like I did it and make sure you have a vice grip. It's a wrench and it helps tremendously when you're cutting the PVC. So first, what I'm doing here is I'm measuring off how long I want this section of the PVC piping to be. And I just use a measuring tape and a Sharpie marker. And then I get the tube cutter. This is a Husky tube cutter and I got it at Home Depot for about $12. You just put the PVC pipe into the little cutter and it has a sharp blade on the top. And you just tighten down the bottom and then you just move it in a circle. Literally, that's what cuts it. It's very easy and you get nice clean cuts using this type of a tool for a tube cutter.
And so you just turn the pipe and it will cut it. And after you have all of the pieces cut out, you will want to sand the edges because when you use the tube cutter, it kind of bevels the edges a little bit and it makes it really difficult to fit into the fitting pieces like the elbows or the three-way elbows. So I just used a piece of really rough grit sandpaper and sanded all of the edges of the PVC pipe after I had cut it. And now I have all of the pieces. I have my instructions with my drawing. And now it is time to assemble this awesome PVC saddle rack. These are the feet. So there's four pieces that are 12 inches long and then I just put the little caps on the end. So I'm gonna do the feet first and show you how that goes together. So I took one of the little T fittings and took two of the 12 inch pieces and put them up together. And this is one foot. This will be the bottom of the saddle rack. And then I just did it again. And this is the other foot or the other end of the saddle rack. And then I wanted to make sure that I was using the correct pieces. That's why I was double checking my measurements. And this is going to attach to the saddle rack itself. And these are each 15 inches. This worked perfectly for my English saddle, but you can change or alter the length of the, how tall it's gonna be sitting. You can make it as tall as you want or as short as you want, as long as your saddle flaps are raised off the ground. And this is where I'm going to use the little elbow, the three-way elbows. So then what I did was take another pair of the T fittings and I put it on either end of the spine part of the saddle rack. And I believe the spine part, I made it 18 inches long. So once I have that set up, then it's time to attach the little three-way elbows. And I already put in little pieces of two inch PVC that I had cut, and that's what is attaching to the T fitting. And now I've got seven inch pieces and there's four of them. And I'm going to put those into the ends of the three-way elbow. This is how the saddle stand, this is gonna like frame the saddle stand out and that's what my flaps of my saddle is going to rest on. And then I wanted to make sure it was pretty square. And then I attached an elbow to each of the seven inch pieces that makes the side part of the frame. And that's it. I've got most of the frame done. Now there's two more pieces that are left and these are 24 inches long. They're going to form the bottom part of the frame for the saddle to rest on. And when I was building this saddle stand, I did not glue everything together. I would highly encourage you to glue everything together. You need to use PVC primer and then the PVC cement and that will make sure it sticks together forever. Now all that's left to do is attach the feet.
And look at that, the saddle stand is done. That is awesome. It was super easy, so easy, so, so, so easy. But now I have to test it. Make sure everything's nice and secure or as secure as it can be without being cemented down. Showing you how pretty it is. And the real test, I've got to put my saddle on it and see how it works. There you go. Pretty impressive and pretty happy. And there you have it. My saddle is in my car, ready for me to go to my riding lesson. And it's nice, protected, and it's not gonna hurt my saddle. And I also have a little bit of space underneath that I can use for my gear bag. Or if I wanted to turn it, I can travel with my saddle that way as well. And it's stable enough, it's not going to tip over while I'm driving. And one more thing that I would recommend, if you are going to be keeping your saddle in your car, I would keep it covered with the saddle cover number one, but then I would do one more thing. Keep it covered up with something else as well, so nobody knows what you have in the back of your trunk. Yeah, they can probably surmise that you've got something in your trunk, but if it's covered in a blanket, hopefully they're less likely to steal your saddle out of your car which it may not be the best solution to keep your saddle in your car, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And if you're going to a lesson after work, or if you're going to ride your horse after work and you have to have your saddle with you, keep it covered up. And above all else, please, please, please lock your car so no one steals your saddle out of your trunk. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it for you. And hopefully now you can see how easy it is to make a PVC saddle rack for like 10 bucks. It's super easy, super easy, and it's cool. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture, my picture. At the end of this video, you can subscribe to my channel and watch all my other horse and DIY videos. Again, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.